July 26, 1993, the daughter of one of the most powerful gaming executives on the Las Vegas Strip, Steve Wynn's daughter, Kevin Wynn, was abducted at gunpoint from her home in Spanish Trail, a premier golf course community. Steve Wynn paid two masked men $1.45 million in cash he got from the Mirage Casino cage. Wynn didn't report the kidnapping until after paying the ransom. It's an abduction case that was chronicled by the Mob Museum two years ago. The high-profile case was led by federal prosecutor Tom O'Connell, who has court testimony from Steve Wynn remembering that chilling call from his daughter. I said, Dad, I've been kidnapped. And then there were instructions for Steve Wynn. He said, listen carefully, we've got your daughter. Go to the hotel, go directly to the cage, to the casino cage. After following instructions and bringing the money to the parking lot of a bar on Spring Mountain near the Mirage, Steve Wynn was given directions on how to find his daughter, who was tied up but unharmed in the back seat of her car in a parking lot at then McCarran Airport. Ray Cuddy and an accomplice, Jacob Sherwood, were both arrested and convicted of kidnapping, extortion, and money laundering by a federal jury. Cuddy trying to buy a Ferrari in Newport Beach with a large sum of cash led to his arrest. Cuddy spent 20 years in prison and was released in 2015. A third accomplice, Anthony Watkins, cooperated with authorities and was sentenced to six and a half years in prison in 1994.